Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these easy dark chocolate chip cookies. I make these fairly regularly and just haven't got around to sharing them but today is the day and I've written a blog post which I'll leave down below which has the full recipe and step-by-step -step instructions so you can click for that and be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment too, let me know if you give these lovely dark chocolate chip cookies a try and what you think of them. So let me show you how to make them. Start by popping 100 grams or three and a half ounces of butter into a small saucepan and get it on to melt. It really doesn't take long for it to melt, just keep a close watch, give it a stir to help it along and remove it from the heat as soon as it's all melted. There you go, the last of the butter is just melted, so we'll take it off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Now it's really just a matter of adding all the other ingredients in one at a time. And what I like to do, save washing up. I'm using my whole cup measure here and because there's eventually going to be a cup of flour, but I've measured out sugar. Go for a third to half cup, just depends on how sweet you want it. And give that a stir in to dissolve. Add in one to two teaspoons of vanilla, just depends how vanilla -y you want it. I go for a teaspoon, give it a stir through. Add an egg, just the one egg. Pinch of salt. Now for the flour, I am actually just using regular plain flour, a cup of flour. I have in the past, when I've been keto and when I've been gluten free, made it with a quarter of a cup of coconut flour instead, and they come out lovely too. Now mix those together to form a cookie dough. Just as it starts coming together, that's when we add in the chocolate chips. I found it about this stage when it's almost there. Now I'm using a whole 100 gram bag of dark chocolate chips. Uh, there they're focusing. Dark chocolate chips for these dark chocolate chip cookies. You can really use any chocolate chips you like. We like them on the darker side. So this is 100 grams or about three and a half ounces of chocolate chips. And I'm just going to pour the whole bag in. And we'll mix them through till we have a lovely chocolate chip cookie dough. Perfect. And now we'll move it off and get our baking tray. So I've got a baking tray that I've lined with well greased baking paper. Oh, and the oven is preheating behind me to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. And I like to go about a tablespoon per cookie. And I find I get about 12 cookies per batch. So I'm just going to fill the tray with cookies just like that and we've now got our 12 cookies on the cookie tray and then just pop them into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes what I tend to do is pop them in for 10 minutes swivel them around and do a final five minutes so they're all cooked evenly you could also pop the tray into the fridge and they will set up a little bit for about an hour and then pop them into the oven it's up to you I tend to just pop them straight in if I've got time and a couple of times I've just popped this tray into the fridge and it just kind of makes firmer cookies but yeah <laughs> it's up to you what you like to do so I'm gonna pop them into the oven and show you once they're done the cookies are out of the oven lovely and golden the house smells heavenly now just allow them to cool completely on the tray before indulging in them so the cookies have cooled completely and they've crisped up and you can see they just make a lovely sweet treat we just love these they're not too sweet they've got those lovely dark chocolate chips in them and yeah they're the perfect cookie and I hope you'll enjoy them and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post which has the full recipe and step-by-step -step instructions so you can make these lovely cookies and be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment to let me know if you give these cookies a try and what you think of them so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye